Thanks for keeping it here on Everyday Heroes. The prevalence of inflammatory bowel disease has been on the rise in recent years. As many as one in every 100 Americans now suffer from IBD, but there is hope and support. We learn more now in the story of the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. New York City is known for many things. The city that never sleeps is home to the Yankees, Radio City Music Hall, and Wall Street. But it's also the headquarters for the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Founded in 1967, this organization is on the front lines, working hard for a cure to a complex affliction that affects millions nationwide and has grown in numbers over the last few decades. Inflammatory bowel disease is an umbrella expression for both Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. There are about one in a hundred Americans that are battling those diseases. They are chronic diseases. They are, at least at the moment, lifelong diseases. And they're characterized by inflammation that occurs somewhere inside your GI tract. This growing problem prompted the formation of a foundation that is working hard on many fronts to improve patients' quality of life. We've been around for 57 years. And in that time, we have maintained a dual mission. The first part of our mission is to cure these diseases, to eradicate them. And the second part is to improve the quality of life of patients, both children and adults, as they travel along this disease journey. Because for the moment, these diseases are both chronic and lifelong because there are no known cures yet. The foundation employs a number of people who've been diagnosed with some form of IBD and are motivated to help find a cure by moving to the front lines of this challenging battle. I thought Crohn's disease was something largely genetic and not common in the African-American community at all. Uh, so that was kind of a shock to myself and to my parents. I'm from Long Island and that's how I found the Long Island chapter and um, from there, me and my family, we participated in a couple walks from the Long Island chapter. We raised money for the Long Island chapter, and I got to see this large community of people that were all going through the same thing I'm going through. I'm not alone, definitely not alone, um, and it's going to be okay. You know, people are out here and they're working and they're trying really hard to make it a better experience for IBD patients. One of the ways I initially got involved with the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation as a volunteer was serving as a counselor at our Camp Oasis program. Uh, it's a week-long sleepaway camp for pediatric IBD patients, and it was life-changing for me, um, being able to make an impact on kids who are just learning how to deal with this and um, forming their own peer community at such a young age. The consolidation of information between patients, doctors, and researchers is allowing for major strides to be made. We have a hundred different medical institutions that are partnering with us on this database. We have 30,000 IBD patients that have consented to provide their data into the system. And the beauty of it is that we have made all that data available to hundreds of researchers around the country and around the world. Data that they would have so much difficulty and would take them years to aggregate themselves. And so what it's doing is it's speeding the research and discovery work that's happening all over the world. Crohn's and Colitis Foundation and the IBD community broadly has made enormous progress over the last 10 years. But I think the thing I'm most excited about is the progress that's going to happen in the next 10 years. The pipeline of new treatments and the potential for real cures is so evident. I'm excited about what looks to be the future for IBD patients around the world.